first of all, I would say a warm welcome to our friends, uh, Shiva from uh, Salesforce and uh, of course, Nalini and Kala from TCS. And of course, we're gonna miss Anand because he's also been a very important uh, stakeholder in this story. Uh, and of course, a uh, very warm welcome again. It's good to be among friends. Uh, the COE, I consider to be part of the extended family. Um, and uh, we've been working together for many years now with great success in many programs like we heard from Giri already. So this is the beginning of another such great program. And I think in terms of visibility, scale, and size, this might even exceed all the other things we have done before. And that's our hope and expectation for which we need all of your support from all the colleges who are the partners of Talent Sprint. The story, like any other time, you know, um, uh, there is this uh, old saying from Steve Jobs that uh, overnight success takes a whole lot of a long time, uh, which is a contradiction in terms because, you know, we, you may or may not realize this, but we've been discussing this program that we are announcing today for at least eight to nine months. Sometime in late 2020, I remember a conversation where Giri called me and said, you know, we need to get on a call with Anand and Kala and, and the colleagues of Nalini and others uh, saying that, you know, uh, TCS is looking to replicate the PEGA model that we have built uh, for the sake of creating engineers straight out of college and they can go into TCS in large numbers and be part of the Salesforce practice. And, and I think TCS also has been evolving very rapidly in the space of understanding the fact that, look, we need highly centralized pools of talent, which are well-crafted talent. And PEGA was an example of that. You know, I think in one of my previous uh, interactions with all of you, I mentioned that uh, the days of you know, just learning by reading up and doing some simple multiple choice questions and clearing a certification, those days are coming to an end. And from an industry perspective, people want experiential learning. They want students, even young professionals have to come in with hands-on experience. And you know, PEGA was the first breakthrough model in that sense for the industry to say that there is actually a way to get students ready out of college uh, where the capability of being industry ready professional, which the college is going to have a difficult time providing because of other curricular and university requirements, which are already quite large. How can talentsman be an instrument of change in bringing that hands on skill straight to the student while they're still in college before they graduate? And if that can happen, then the industry is very happy to welcome and embrace the students and even at a premium compensation at times, because that is how important this talent is. So that was the story that PEGA offered to the market, the PEGA model, uh, where, you know, with the help of PEGA last five years, been producing well over 1,000 students a year in this model. And, and many, many companies, 20 plus companies leading with TCS have been benefiting from that model and getting talent. So the idea was that, okay, in this call in last year, I remember uh, Anand, uh, who is uh, not here today because of the other preoccupation, Anand told me very clearly that, look, can we replicate that model for Salesforce? And in fact, the scale is even larger. Uh, in, a, in a good year, TCS will take between 300 to 400 PEGA students from the PEGA UOP model. But out of the gates, in the case of Salesforce, we are looking at seven, 800, maybe even 1,000 uh, to start with. And then we went back with that information and said, what can we do? So we reflected inside Talent Sprint, and then we said, we need to reach out to Salesforce. It's too big an opportunity for us to kind of do it, try to do it handcrafted. We should get Salesforce to be our partner, or rather we be Salesforce's partner to make this thing really scale. And that's when I took a call. I actually called uh, Vikram Limay, who is the CEO and MD of uh, National Stock Exchange, which is our parent company. So I called Vikram and said, do you know the CEO of Salesforce? And he said, yeah, I know Arundhati Bhattacharya very well. At that point, Arundhati Bhattacharya, she had moved from being the chairman of SBI and started off as a chairperson and uh, CEO of uh, Salesforce India. So he put in a call to her and said, please talk to Shantanu. And lo and behold, I got an email from her executive assistant within a few hours saying that, Madam would like to speak with you. When can you do this? And I said, you know, I'm available anytime and she's available. And then the call got set up very shortly within a few days. So she heard me out. She heard the whole story of PEGA. She heard some of our other programs, Google Women Engineers, and she got very excited. And she said, I'm going to bring in the right people from Salesforce leadership right now into this conversation. And then she wrote to Shiva, who is in the call now, and said to, and basically asked Shiva to evaluate this idea. And I must say that subsequent to that, Shiva has been a great asset for us. I mean, he has worked with us relentlessly to put together this plan, work on this behind the scenes. And Shiva runs a very large trailhead academy, which I'm sure he'll talk about, which does a lot more in terms of disseminating Salesforce awareness and certification to the college ecosystem. I'm sure many of you already have the Salesforce traditional model of saying that how can we get more people aware, certified, and, and you know, be Salesforce, quote unquote, uh, you know, sort of inducted. But I think even Shiva recognized that 
what we're doing in the PEGA model is so much more intense, so much more hands-on that you can produce very high quality professionals through that model, which industry will just lap up in very quick order. And I think Shiva was also told me that, you know, TCS is one of the largest partners we have. So we will do this together. And of course, I can tell you, that's what he told me that, you know, and if TCS model works so well, the industry is looking for Salesforce talent in such large numbers that we will have many other companies eventually show up who want this talent in the second and third years, right? So we all did that together. And I'm very happy to report that with Shiva's help, you know, and navigating the global Salesforce, uh, you know, uh, system of marketing and legal and approvals, not easy. I can tell you that. But I'm very grateful to Shiva that, uh, you know, he was able to help us and, you know, he bought into the vision, he signed up, became a partner for us, with us in making this program work. And here we are today. And I remember finally, after a few months of that, we were able to go back to Anand and uh, all the leaders, Kala and Nalini said that, I think we've got the approvals on both sides. Let's go, right? Let's start. So I just want to say that this has not been a very short journey to get here. Uh, we are dealing with, like Giri said, two giants, giant organizations, TCS, largest in its field, Salesforce, largest in its field. And in between, you have little talent sprint, you know, uh, exciting startup, but nevertheless, you know, fighting with very large institutions to bring some value to colleges, to the college students, and eventually to the entire ecosystem, starting with TCS. So this program, I just want to set the stage, this program will produce Salesforce certified hands-on talent uh, for the sake of TCS, and TCS will be the day zero employer, meaning that TCS has the right of first refusal to all the talent that we produce in the foreseeable future. And of course, TCS may or may not choose to take everybody. If TCS decides to not take someone, I'm sure Shiva and Talentsman will work to kind of find other interesting companies where they would be, you know, properly placed. So this was a very, very exciting program. Nothing like this has been done before in the world of this scale. And I can imagine that you know, Shiva probably will tell us the real numbers that there are probably, you know, five, 6,000 people that can be produced through this model every year and perhaps still come up short uh, in the long term uh, across industry and perhaps in India and abroad. So once again, a bit of a longish context setting. I hope that was useful. But I can tell you that this has been one of the most exciting journeys that I've been on personally over the last six months with help from Giri and my colleagues, um, Sridhar, who's been helping me. And of course, we have a fabulous team of talent sprint leaders who have been working on this. But here we are. Uh, this is the beginning of an exciting journey, and we want to do this together with you. So thank you once again for putting your faith in Talent Sprint, and we'd love to see how to make this really great outcomes for the students together. Thank you.